Section one of Many Ways for Cooking Eggs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. Many Ways for Cooking Eggs by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohr. Sauces. The philosophy of a sauce, when understood, enables even an untrained cook to make a great variety of everyday sauces from materials usually found in every household to have them uniform however flavorings must be correctly blended and measurements must be rigidly observed two level tablespoonfuls of butter or other fat two level tablespoonfuls of flour must be used to each half pint of liquid if the yolks of eggs are added omit one tablespoonful of flour or the sauce will be too thick tomato sauce should be flavored with onion a little mace and a suspicion of curry brown sauce may be simply seasoned with salt and pepper flavored and colored with kitchen bouquet spanish sauce should also be flavored with mushrooms or if you can afford it a truffle a little chopped ham a tablespoonful of chives shallot and garlic water sauce drawn butter and simple sauce hollandaise when they are served with fish must be flavored with a dash of tarragon vinegar salt and pepper english drawn butter three tablespoonfuls of butter one half pint of boiling water two tablespoonfuls of flour one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of pepper rub two tablespoonfuls of butter and the flour together add the boiling water stir until boiling add the salt and pepper take from the fire add the remaining tablespoonful of butter and it is ready to use it must not be boiled after the last butter is added plain sauce hollandaise make english drawn butter and add to it when done the yolks of two eggs beaten with two tablespoonfuls of water cook until thick and jelly like take from the fire and add one tablespoonful of tarragon vinegar or the juice of half a lemon anchovy sauce rub two teaspoonfuls of anchovy essence with the butter and flour and then finish the same as english drawn butter sauce bechamel two tablespoonfuls of butter one yolk of an egg one half cup of milk one saltspoonful of pepper one tablespoonful of flour one half cup of stock one half teaspoonful of salt rub the butter and flour together add the stock and the milk and stir until boiling add the salt and pepper take from the fire and add the beaten yolk of the egg heat for a moment over hot water and it is ready for use tarragon sauce add two tablespoonfuls of tarragon vinegar to an english drawn butter horseradish sauce make an english drawn butter and just at serving time add a half cupful of freshly grated horseradish if you are obliged to use that preserved in vinegar press it perfectly dry before using it cream or white sauce two tablespoonfuls of butter one half pint of milk two tablespoonfuls of flour one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper rub the butter and flour together add the milk cold and stir until boiling add the pepper and salt and it is ready for use brown butter sauce six tablespoonfuls of butter one teaspoonful of mushroom ketchup one tablespoonful of vinegar four tablespoonfuls of stock melt the butter brown it and then skim pour it carefully into a clean saucepan add the vinegar ketchup and stock boil a minute and it is ready for use sauce perigo four tablespoonfuls of butter one half pint of stock one glass of white wine one half teaspoonful of salt two tablespoonfuls of flour one bay leaf two chopped truffles one saltspoonful of pepper one teaspoonful of kitchen bouquet chop the truffles and put them with the bay leaf and wine in a saucepan on the back of the stove rub half the butter and flour together add the stock stir until boiling and add one teaspoonful of kitchen bouquet the salt and pepper and then the truffles cook ten minutes add the remaining quantity of butter and use at once tomato sauce rub together two level tablespoonfuls of flour and two of butter add a half pint of strained tomatoes stir until boiling add a teaspoonful of onion juice a half teaspoonful of salt 
and a saltspoonful of pepper. Strain and use. Paprika sauce. Rub together two level tablespoonfuls of flour and two of butter with a tablespoonful of paprika. Add a half pint of chicken stock. Stir until boiling. Add a half teaspoonful of salt and strain. This sauce may be used over chicken as well as eggs. Curry sauce. Chop fine one onion. Cook it with two level tablespoonfuls of butter until soft. Do not brown. Add two level tablespoonfuls of flour, one teaspoonful of curry powder, and a half teaspoonful of salt. Mix and add a half a pint of boiling water. Stir until boiling and strain. Italian sauce. Chop sufficient carrot to make a tablespoonful. Chop one onion. Place them in a saucepan with three level tablespoonfuls of butter, a bay leaf, and a blade of mace. Shake the pan over the fire until the vegetables are slightly browned. Drain off the butter and add to it two level tablespoonfuls of flour, a half cupful of good stock, a half cupful of strained tomatoes, and bring to a boil. Add a half teaspoonful of salt and a dash of cayenne. Strain. Stir until boiling. Strain again and add four tablespoonfuls of sherry. End of section one. Section 2 of Many Ways for Cooking Eggs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. Many Ways for Cooking Eggs by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohrer. Cooking of Eggs, Part 1. Any single food containing all the elements necessary to supply the requirements of the body is called a complete or typical food. Milk and eggs are frequently so called because they sustain the young animals of their kind during a period of rapid growth. Nevertheless, neither of these foods forms a perfect diet for the human adult. Both are highly nutritious, but incomplete. Served with bread or rice, they form an admirable meal and one that is nutritious and easily digested. The white of eggs, almost pure albumen, is nutritious and when cooked in water at 170 degrees Fahrenheit, requires less time for perfect digestion than a raw egg. The white of a hard-boiled egg is tough and quite insoluble. The yolk, however, if the boiling has been done carefully for 20 minutes, is mealy and easily digested. Fried eggs, no matter what fat is used, are hard, tough, and insoluble. The yolk of an egg cooks at a lower temperature than the white, and for this reason an egg should not be boiled unless the yolk alone is to be used. Ten eggs are supposed to weigh a pound, and unless they are unusually large or small, this is quite correct. Eggs contain from 72 to 84 percent of water, about 12 to 14 percent of albuminoids. The yolk is quite rich in fat, the white deficient. They also contain mineral matter and extractives. To ascertain the freshness of an egg without breaking it, hold your hand around the egg toward a bright light or the sun and look through it. If the yolk appears quite round and the white clear, it is fresh. Or if you put it in a bucket of water and it falls on its side, it is fresh. If it sort of topples in the water, standing on its end, it is fairly fresh. But if it floats, beware of it. The shell of a fresh egg looks dull and porous. As it begins to age, the shell takes on a shiny appearance. If an egg is kept any length of time, a portion of its water evaporates, which leaves a space in the shell, and the egg will rattle. An egg that rattles may be perfectly good and still not absolutely fresh. To preserve eggs. To preserve eggs, it is only necessary to close the pores of the shells. This may be done by dipping them in melted paraffin or packing them in salt small ends down, or pack them in a keg and cover them with brine, or pack them in a keg, small ends down, and cover them with lime water. This not only protects them from the air, but acts as a germicide. Eggs should not be packed for winter use later than the middle of May or earlier than the 1st of April. Where large quantities of the yolks are used, the whites may be evaporated and kept in glass bottles or jars. Spread them out on a stoneware or granite plate and allow them to evaporate at the mouth of a cool oven. 
when the mixture is perfectly dry put it away this powder is capable of taking up the same amount of water that has been evaporated from it and may then be used the same as fresh whites eggs and crumbing to do this successfully one must prepare a mixture and not use the egg alone if an egg mixture or a croquette is dipped in beaten egg and rolled in cracker crumbs and dropped into fat it always has a greasy covering this is the wrong way to do it successfully and have the articles handsome beat the egg until well mixed add a teaspoonful of olive oil a tablespoonful of water and a dash of pepper dip the articles into this mixture and then drop them on quite a thick bed of either sifted dry bread crumbs or soft white bread crumbs i prefer sifted dry bread crumbs for croquettes and soft white crumbs for lobster cutlets and deviled crabs sheared eggs cover the bottoms of individual dishes with a little butter and a few fresh bread crumbs drop into each dish two fresh eggs stand this dish in a pan of hot water and cook in the oven until the whites are set put a tiny bit of butter in the middle of each and a dusting of salt and pepper eggs mexicana put two tablespoonfuls of butter in a saucepan add four tablespoonfuls of finely chopped onion and shake until the onion is soft but not brown then add four spanish peppers cut in strips a dash of red pepper and a half pint of tomatoes the tomatoes should be in rather solid pieces add a seasoning of pepper and salt let this cook slowly while you shear the desired quantity of eggs when the eggs are ready to serve put two tablespoonfuls of this sauce at each side of the dish and send at once to the table eggs on a plate rub the bottom of a baking dish with butter dust it lightly with salt and pepper break in as many fresh eggs as required stand the dish in a basin of water and cook in the oven five minutes or until the whites are set while these are cooking put two tablespoonfuls of butter in a pan and shake over the fire until it browns when the eggs are done baste them with the brown butter and send to the table eggs de lessops shear the eggs as directed have ready carefully boiled two sets of calves brains cut them into slices put two or three slices between the eggs and then pour over browned butter sauce eggs meyer beer to each half dozen eggs allow three lamb's kidneys broil the kidneys shear the eggs as directed in the first recipe when done put half a kidney on each side of the plate and pour over sauce perigou eggs a la reine six eggs one half pint of chopped cold cooked chicken one half can of mushrooms two tablespoonfuls of butter two tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of milk one half teaspoonful of salt a saltspoonful of pepper use ordinary shearing dishes for the eggs butter them break into each one egg stand these in a pan of boiling water and in the oven until they are set rub the butter and flour together add the milk stir until boiling add the salt pepper chopped chicken and mushrooms and put one tablespoonful of this on top of each egg and send it once to the table this is also nice if you put a tablespoonful of the mixture in the bottom of the dish break the egg into it and then at serving time put another tablespoonful over the top eggs au miroir cover the bottom of a granite ware or silver platter with fresh bread crumbs break in as many eggs as are needed for the number of persons to be served put bits of butter here and there stand the platter over a baking pan of hot water in the oven until the eggs are set dust them with salt and pepper and send to the table eggs a la paysan six eggs one half cupful of cream two tablespoonfuls of grated onion one clove of garlic one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper add the onion and the garlic mashed to the cream pour it in the bottom of a baking dish break on top the eggs dust with salt and pepper stand the baking dish in a pan of water and cook in the oven until the eggs are set serve in the dish in which they are cooked eggs a la trinidad six eggs two lambs kidneys one cupful of fresh bread crumbs two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of stock one teaspoonful of kitchen bouquet one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper split the kidneys 
cut out the tubes scald them drain and cut them into thin slices put the butter into a saucepan add the kidneys toss until the kidneys are cooked then add the flour stock kitchen bouquet salt and pepper stir until boiling grease a shallow granite or silver platter break into it the eggs sprinkle over the bread crumbs and stand them in the oven till the eggs are set then pour over the sauce arrange the kidneys around the edge of the dish and send at once to the table eggs rossini six eggs four chicken livers twelve nice mushrooms one half cupful of stock one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of pepper put the stock in a saucepan and boil rapidly until reduced one half add a drop or two of browning throw the chicken livers into boiling water and let them simmer gently for ten minutes drain slice the mushrooms and put them with the livers into the stock let them stand until you have cooked the eggs put a tablespoonful of butter in the bottom of a shallow platter when melted break in the eggs stand them in the oven until set garnish with the livers and mushrooms and pour over the sauce eggs baked in tomato sauce make a tomato sauce pour one half in the bottom of a baking dish or granite platter break in from four to six fresh eggs cover with the other half of the sauce dust the top with grated cheese and bake in a moderate oven until set about fifteen or twenty minutes serve for supper in the place of meat eggs a la martin make a half pint of cream sauce put half of it in the bottom of a baking dish or into the bottom of ramekin dishes or individual cups break fresh eggs on top of the cream sauce dust with a little salt and pepper pour over the remaining cream sauce sprinkle the top with grated cheese and bake in a moderate oven until the cheese is browned and eggs are set serve in the dish or dishes in which they are cooked eggs a la valencienne six eggs one pint of dry boiled rice one half pint of strained tomato two mushrooms two tablespoonfuls of grated parmesan cheese two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half saltspoonful of grated nutmeg one half teaspoonful of paprika one teaspoonful of salt one half saltspoonful of pepper rub the butter and flour together add the strained tomato stir until boiling add the mushrooms sliced salt paprika nutmeg and pepper take a granite or silver platter put in two tablespoonfuls of butter extra let the butter melt and heat break into this the eggs being very careful not to break the yolks let the eggs cook in the oven until set then put around the edge of the dish as a garnish the boiled rice pour over the eggs the tomato sauce dust the top with the parmesan cheese and send at once to the table fillets of eggs six eggs four tablespoonfuls of good stock one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper beat the eggs with the stock add the salt and pepper turn them into a buttered square pan stand this in another of boiling water and cook in the oven until the eggs are thoroughly set cut the preparation into thin fillets or slices dip in either a thin batter made from an egg a half cupful of milk and flour to thicken or they may be dipped in beaten egg rolled in bread crumbs and fried in deep hot fat arrange the fillets in a platter on a napkin one overlapping the other garnish with parsley and send to the table with a boat of tomato or white sauce eggs a la suisse cover the bottom of a baking dish with about two tablespoonfuls of butter cut into bits on top of this very thin slices of swiss cheese break over some fresh eggs dust with salt and pepper to each half dozen eggs pour over a half cup of cream then cover the top with grated swiss cheese and bake in the oven until the cheese is melted and the eggs set send this to the table with a plate of dry toast egg with nut brown butter these eggs may be shirred or poached and served on toast put two tablespoonfuls of butter in a saute or frying pan as soon as it begins to heat break into it the eggs and cook slightly until the yolks are set dish them at once on toast or thin slices of broiled ham put two more tablespoonfuls of butter in the pan let it brown and add two tablespoonfuls of vinegar boil it up once and pour over the eggs egg timbales butter small timbal molds or custard cups dust the bottoms and sides with chopped tongue and finely chopped mushrooms 
Break into each mold one fresh egg. Stand the mold in a baking pan half filled with boiling water and cook in the oven until the eggs are set. Have ready nicely toasted rounds of bread, one for each cup, and a well-made tomato or cream sauce. Loosen the eggs from the cups with a knife, turn each out onto a round of toast, arrange neatly on a heated platter, fill the bottom of the platter with cream or tomato sauce, garnish the dish with nicely seasoned green peas, and serve at once. Eggs Coquelicot Grease small custard or timbal cups and put inside of each a cooked Spanish pepper. Drop in the pepper one egg. Dust it lightly with salt. Stand the cups in a pan of boiling water and cook in the oven until the eggs are set. Toast one round of bread for each cup and make a half pint of cream sauce. When the eggs are set, fill the bottom of the serving platter with cream sauce, loosen the peppers from the cups and turn them out on the rounds of toast. Stand them in the cream sauce, Dust on top of each a little chopped parsley and send to the table. Eggs Suzette Bake as many potatoes as you have persons to serve. When done, cut off the sides, scoop out a portion of the potato, leaving a wall about half an inch thick. Mash the scooped out portion, add to it a little hot milk, salt and pepper, and put it in a pastry bag. Put a little salt, pepper, and butter into each potato and break in a fresh egg. Press the potato from the pastry bag through a star tube around the edge of the potato, forming a border. Stand these in a baking pan and bake until the eggs are set. Put a tablespoonful of cream sauce in the center of each and send to the table. Eggs en cocotte. Chop fine one good-sized onion. Cook it over hot water in two level tablespoonfuls of butter. When the onion is soft, add a quarter of a can of mushrooms, chopped fine two level tablespoonfuls of flour, and one cupful of stock. Stir until boiling. Add a tablespoonful of chopped parsley, a half teaspoonful of salt, and a saltspoonful of pepper. Put a tablespoonful of this sauce in the bottom of individual cups. Break into each cup one egg. Pour over the remaining mixture. Stand the cups in a pan of hot water and bake in a moderate oven about five minutes. Eggs steamed in the shell. Eggs put into hot water and kept away from the fire are much better than eggs actually boiled for only a short time. The greater the number of eggs to be cooked, the greater the amount of water that must be used. To cook four eggs, put them into a kettle, pour over them two quarts of water, cover the kettle and allow them to stand for ten minutes. Lift them from the water, put them into a large bowl, cover with boiling water, and send at once to the table. The whites will be coagulated but should be soft and creamy, while the yolks will be perfectly cooked. If you should add six eggs to this volume of water, lengthen the time of standing. A single egg dropped into a quart of water must stand five minutes. Bird's nests. Separate the eggs, allowing one to each person. Beat the whites to a stiff froth, heap them into individual dishes, make a nest or hole in the center. Drop into this a whole yolk. Stand the dish in a pan of water, Cover and cook in the oven about two or three minutes. Dust lightly with salt and pepper. Put a tiny bit of butter in the center of each and send it once to the table. This is one of the most sightly of all egg dishes. Eggs en panade. Two eggs, six slices of bread, one half cupful of milk or cream, four tablespoonfuls of olive oil, one tablespoonful of chopped parsley, one half teaspoonful of salt, one saltspoonful of pepper. Trim the crusts from the bread. Beat the eggs until well mixed, then add the milk or cream, salt, and pepper. Put the oil in a shallow frying pan, dip the slices of bread in the beaten egg, and drop them into the hot oil. When brown on one side, turn and brown the other. Dish on a hot platter, dust with the chopped parsley, and send at once to the table. Egg pudding. Six eggs, six slices of bread, one tablespoonful of chopped parsley, two tablespoonfuls of chopped chives, two tablespoonfuls of butter, one tablespoonful of flour, one half pint of milk, one half teaspoonful of salt, one saltspoonful of white pepper. Break the eggs into a bowl, add all the seasoning. Rub the butter and flour together, add the milk, stir until boiling, and then add this to the eggs. Beat together until thoroughly mixed. Crumb the bread, removing the crusts. Stir this in at last. 
turn into a buttered baking dish cover with grated cheese and bake in the oven until thoroughly set and a nice brown it makes an exceedingly good easily digested luncheon or supper dish for children eggs a la bonne femme one spanish or two bermuda onions two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of milk six eggs one teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper one half saltspoonful of grated nutmeg separate the whites and yolks of the eggs put the butter into a saucepan add the onions cut into very thin slices shake until the onions are soft but not brown then dust over the flour mix and add the milk salt pepper and nutmeg stir carefully until this reaches boiling point then stand it on the back part of the stove where it will keep hot for at least ten minutes beat the yolks of the eggs until very creamy then stir them into the sauce take from the fire and fold in the well-beaten whites of the eggs turn into a baking dish or casserole and bake in a hot oven fifteen minutes serve at once end of section two section three of many ways for cooking eggs this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. recording by betty b many ways of cooking eggs by sarah tyson heston war cooking of eggs part two to poach eggs use a shallow frying pan partly filled with boiling water the eggs must be perfectly fresh the white of an egg is held in a membrane which seems to lose its tenacity after the egg is three days old such an egg when dropped into boiling water spreads out that is it does not retain its shape when ready to poach eggs take the required number to the stove the water must be boiling hot but not actually bubbling break an egg into a saucer slide it quickly into the water and then another and another pull the pan to the side of the stove where the water cannot possibly boil with a tablespoon baste the water over the yolks of the eggs if they happen to be exposed they must be entirely covered with a thin veil of the white have ready the desired quantity of toast on a heated platter lift each egg with a slice or skimmer trim off the ragged edges and slide them at once on the toast dust with salt and pepper baste with melted butter and send to the table eggs mirabeau cut a sufficient number of rounds of bread toast them carefully and cover them with pate de foie gras put on top of each a poached egg pour over sauce perigueux and send to the table eggs norwegian cover rounds of toasted bread first with butter and then with anchovy paste put on top of each a poached egg pour over anchovy sauce and send at once to the table eggs press court toast slices of bread put thin slices of chicken on each on top of this a poached egg cover with sauce bernaise and serve at once eggs courtland mince sufficient cold chicken to make a half cupful make a half pint of cream sauce add the minced chicken a half teaspoonful of salt and a dash of red pepper toast a sufficient quantity of bread put it on a heated platter pour over a small quantity of the minced chicken and cream sauce put on each a poached egg cover with the remaining sauce dust with parsley and serve with a garnish of green peas eggs louisiana make a half pint of tomato sauce toast a sufficient quantity of bread butter the bread and put on each slice a poached egg cover with the tomato sauce eggs richmond chop sufficient cold chicken to make a half cupful add an equal quantity of finely chopped mushrooms add this to a half pint of cream sauce add one unbeaten egg to a pint of cold boiled rice season it with salt and pepper make into round flat cakes and fry in hot fat arrange these on a heated platter pour over the cream sauce mixture and put on top of each a poached egg hungarian eggs boil a cup of rice until tender and dry make a half pint of paprika sauce turn the rice into the center of a platter smooth it down cover the top with poached eggs pour over the paprika sauce and send it once to the table eggs nova scotia 
put a poached egg on top of a flat codfish cake pour over cream or tomato sauce and send to the table eggs lack me cut cold chicken or turkey into very thin slices and stand over hot water in a dish until heated toast a sufficient quantity of bread butter the slices put on each a slice of chicken or turkey dust slightly with salt and pepper on top of these place a poached egg cover with tarragon sauce and send to the table eggs malakoff toast rounds of bread cover them with caviar which has been seasoned with a little onion and pepper put on top of each a poached egg cover with horseradish sauce and send to the table eggs virginia grate six ears of corn add half cupful of milk a half cupful of flour and two eggs beaten separately and a half teaspoonful of salt and a dash of pepper drop the mixture in large tablespoonfuls and hot fat when brown on one side turn and brown on the other drain and arrange neatly on a large platter put a poached egg on the top of each cake cover with cream sauce and send to the table this dish with green peas makes quite a complete meal japanese eggs carefully boil one cup of rice drain dry make a half pint of cream sauce add to it a teaspoonful of grated onion and a teaspoonful of chopped celery poach the desired number of eggs put the rice in the center of a platter cover it with the eggs pour over the sauce dust the dish with parsley and send it once to the table the edge of this dish may be garnished with broiled sardines or carefully broiled smoked salmon eggs a la windsor six eggs six rounds of toast two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of chicken stock one tablespoonful of chopped parsley one tablespoonful of chopped olive one tablespoonful of chopped spanish pepper one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of black pepper rub the butter and flour together and add the stock stir until boiling and add the salt and pepper toast the bread poach the eggs put them on the toast pour over carefully the sauce heap the chopped vegetables mixed in the center of each egg and send to the table eggs buckingham allow one egg to each person that is to be served cut either a dry or a virginia ham into very thin slices allow one thin square to each person toast squares of bread remove the crust boil the ham quickly put each square of ham on a square of toast put on top a poached egg dust lightly with pepper and send to the table poached eggs on fried tomatoes cut solid tomatoes into slices a quarter of an inch thick dust them with salt and pepper dip them into egg beaten with a tablespoonful of water roll them thickly with bread crumbs dip them again in the egg dust again with bread crumbs and fry in deep hot fat drain on brown paper dish on a heated platter put a poached egg in the center of each slice dust with salt and pepper put a tablespoonful of tomato sauce over each egg and send it once to the table cream sauce may be used in the place of tomato sauce eggs a la finoise six eggs two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of strained tomato one tablespoonful of chopped chives two green peppers rub the butter and flour together add the tomatoes and the peppers chopped very fine stir until this reaches boiling point and stand it over hot water poach the eggs in deep water toast six rounds of bread arrange the toast on a platter put one egg on each slice pour around the tomato sauce dust thickly with the chives and send to the table eggs a la gretna six eggs two heads of celery two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of milk one teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper cut the celery into inch lengths wash thoroughly cover with boiling water and simmer gently thirty minutes until the celery is tender drain saving the water in which the celery was cooked for another purpose rub the butter and flour together add the milk salt and pepper when boiling add the celery stand this over hot water while you poach the eggs and toast six squares of bread butter the toast put on each slice one egg put these around the edge of a large platter turn the celery into the middle of the dish and send it once to the table to increase the beauty of this dish and to give it a greater food value 
you may garnish between the toast and celery with carefully boiled rice this then makes an exceedingly nice supper dish eggs a la imperatrice toast six slices of bread butter them put on top a thin slice of pate de foie gras and on top of this a hot poached egg baste with a little melted butter dust with salt and pepper and send at once to the table this is one of the most elegant of all the egg dishes eggs with chestnuts this is an exceedingly nice dish to serve in the fall when chestnuts are fresh shell a quart of chestnuts blanch them then boil them until tender drain and press through a colander add a half cupful of hot milk a tablespoonful of butter a teaspoonful of salt and a saltspoonful of pepper beat until light and stand over a kettle of hot water while you poach six or eight eggs dish the chestnut puree in a small platter cover the poached eggs over the top dust them with salt pepper and chopped parsley eggs a la regence six eggs one half cupful of chopped cold cooked ham one grated onion one half can of chopped mushrooms two tablespoonfuls of butter two tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of chicken stock one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper stand the ham over hot water until thoroughly heated rub the butter and flour together add the stock stir until boiling add the mushrooms sliced the salt pepper and the onion stand this over hot water while you poach the eggs dish the eggs cover them with the sauce strain and cover with the chopped ham garnish the dish with mashed potatoes or boiled rice and send at once to the table eggs a la livingstone six squares of toast one tureen of pate de foie gras six eggs one half cupful of good stock two tablespoonfuls of sherry one teaspoonful of kitchen bouquet one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of pepper toast the bread butter it and put on top of each slice of toast a slice of pate de foie gras put this on a heated dish stand it at the mouth of the oven door while you poach the eggs put into a saucepan all the other ingredients bring to a boil put one poached egg on each slice of pate de foie gras baste with the sauce and send at once to the table eggs mornay six eggs two tablespoonfuls of butter two tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of milk one half teaspoonful of salt one half teaspoonful of paprika four tablespoonfuls of grated parmesan cheese rub the butter and flour together add the milk stir until boiling add the salt and paprika and if you have it a teaspoonful of soy pour half of this sauce in a shallow granite platter or baking dish poach the eggs drain them carefully and put them over the top of the sauce cover with the remaining sauce dust with parmesan cheese and run in the oven a moment to brown eggs zanzibar one small eggplant one thin slice of ham six eggs two tablespoonfuls of sherry two tablespoonfuls of tomato ketchup two level tablespoonfuls of butter one dash of pepper cut the eggplant into slices season it with salt and pepper dip in egg and bread crumbs and fry carefully in deep hot fat put this on brown paper in the oven to dry broil the ham cut it into squares sufficiently small to go neatly on top of each slice of eggplant poach the eggs and heat the other ingredients for the sauce dish the eggplant on a platter put on the ham and on each piece of ham an egg baste with sauce and send to the table eggs montebello six eggs two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of strained tomato one teaspoonful of onion juice one half teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper put about two quarts of water into a small deep saucepan when boiling very hard drop in one at a time the eggs in dropping them in the white will fold over the yolk and make the eggs round push them to the back of the stove to stand for two minutes lift them with a skimmer dip them in an egg beaten with a tablespoonful of water dust them with bread crumbs and fry them in deep hot fat you cannot use a frying basket just drop them in the fat and as they are browned lift them out onto soft paper to drain rub the butter and flour together add the tomato and seasoning when boiling dish the eggs on a heated platter pour around tomato sauce and send to the table eggs a la bourbon six eggs one half pint of stock 
one tablespoonful of butter six tablespoonfuls of grated parmesan cheese one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of pepper put the stock in a small saucepan poach the eggs in it two at a time lift them carefully and lay them on a hot granite or silver dish when all are poached dust over the cheese and stand them in the hot oven for just a moment until the cheese is melted in the meantime boil the stock until it is reduced one half add the butter baste it over the eggs and send to the table this dish may be garnished with triangular pieces of toast eggs bernays six whole eggs four yolks of eggs four tablespoonfuls of stock four tablespoonfuls of olive oil one tablespoonful of chopped parsley one tablespoonful of tarragon vinegar one tablespoonful of butter one tablespoonful of flour one half cupful of strained tomato one teaspoonful of onion juice one half teaspoonful of salt put the stock yolks of eggs and olive oil into a saucepan stir over hot water until you have a thick smooth sauce like mayonnaise take from the fire and when slightly cool stir in the tarragon vinegar and parsley rub the butter and flour together add the tomato and when boiling add a palatable seasoning of salt and pepper toast six halves of english muffins or squares of bread heat a platter butter the toast put it on the hot platter and poach the eggs put one poached egg on each slice of toast fill the bottom of the dish with tomato sauce and put a tablespoonful of bernays sauce on top of each egg these may be garnished with a little chopped truffle or a little chopped parsley eggs a la roar toast rounds of bread one for each person butter them heat in boiling water the choke of a french artichoke one for each slice of bread make sauce hollandaise and put one artichoke bottom on each slice of bread on a heated platter put in the center a poached egg and pour over the sauce hollandaise garnish the dish with nicely cooked french or fresh green peas eggs benedict separate two eggs break the yolks add a cupful of milk a half teaspoonful of salt one and a half cupfuls of flour and a tablespoonful of melted butter beat well add two level teaspoonfuls of baking powder and fold in the well-beaten whites bake on a griddle in large muffin rings broil thin slices of bread make a sauce hollandaise chop a truffle poach the required number of eggs dish the muffins put a square of ham on each then a poached egg and cover each egg nicely with sauce hollandaise dust with truffle and serve at once to hard boil eggs put the eggs in warm water bring the water quickly to the boiling point then push the kettle to the back of the stove where the water will remain at two hundred degrees fahrenheit for twenty minutes if these are to be used for made over dishes throw them at once into cold water remove the shells or the yolks will lose their color eggs creole put two tablespoonfuls of butter and four of chopped onions into a saucepan cook until the onion is soft but not brown then add four peeled fresh tomatoes that have been cut into pieces and three finely chopped green peppers cook this fifteen minutes and add a level teaspoonful of salt have the eggs hard boiled and cut into slices put them into a baking dish pour over the sauce reheat in the oven and serve with a dish of boiled rice curried eggs peel and cut into slices three large onions put them in a saucepan with two tablespoonfuls of butter stand over hot water and cook until the onions are soft add a teaspoonful of curry powder a clove of garlic mashed a saltspoonful of ground ginger a half teaspoonful of salt and a tablespoonful of flour mix thoroughly and add a half pint of water stir until boiling have ready six hard-boiled eggs cut them into slices arrange them over a dish of carefully boiled rice on a hot platter strain over the sauce and send it once to the table this dish is made more attractive by a garnish with sweet spanish peppers cut into strips eggs beauregard hard boil five eggs separate the whites from the yolks put the yolks through a sieve put the whites either through a vegetable press or chop them very fine make a half pint of cream sauce season it and add the whites have ready a sufficient amount of toast carefully buttered put this on a heated platter cover over the cream sauce and the whites dust the tops with the yolks then with salt and pepper garnish the edge of the dish with finely chopped parsley 
and send at once to the table eggs lafayette hard boil six eggs chop them but not fine make a half pint of curry sauce put the chopped eggs over a bed of carefully boiled rice cover with the curry sauce garnish with strips of spanish pepper and serve this dish may be changed by using tomato sauce in place of the curry sauce eggs jefferson select the desired number of good-sized tomatoes allowing one to each person cut off the blossom end scoop out the seeds stand the tomatoes in a baking pan in the oven until they are partly cooked put a half teaspoonful of butter and a dusting of salt and pepper into the bottom of each and break in one egg put these back in the oven until the eggs are set have ready a round of toasted bread for each tomato stand the tomato in the center of the bread fill the bottom of the dish with cream sauce and send to the table eggs washington add a half pint of crab meat to a half pint of cream sauce season with salt and pepper have ready either bread pates or pates made from puff paste put a tablespoonful of the crab mixture into the bottom of each break in an egg stand in the oven until the egg is set or you may poach the eggs and slide them into the pate pour over the remaining quantity of crab meat sauce and send at once to the table eggs au gratin make a pint of cream sauce hard boil six eggs cut them into slices put them in the baking dish and cover with the cream sauce dust thickly with cheese and brown quickly in the oven end of chapter three section four of many ways for cooking eggs this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. Many Ways for Cooking Eggs by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohr. Cooking of Eggs, Part 3. Deviled Eggs. Hard boil 12 eggs. Remove the shells. Cut the eggs into halves crosswise. Take out the yolks without breaking the whites. Press the yolks through a sieve. Add four tablespoonfuls of finely chopped chicken, tongue, or ham. Add a half teaspoonful of salt, a saltspoonful of pepper, and two tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Rub the mixture. Form it into balls the size of the yolks and put them into the places in the whites from which the yolks were taken. Put two halves together, roll them in tissue paper that has been fringed at the ends, giving each a twist. If these balls are made the size of the yolk and put back into the whites, they may be placed on a platter, heated, and served on toast with cream sauce then they are very much like the eggs bernhardt eggs a la tripe hard boil eight eggs remove the shells cut eggs crosswise in rather thick slices cut three small onions into very thin slices separate them into rings cover them with boiling water and boil rapidly ten minutes drain then cover them with fresh water and boil until they are tender drain again but save the water now mix the eggs and onions carefully without breaking. Put two level tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour into a saucepan. Mix. Add a grating of nutmeg, a saltspoonful of black pepper, the juice of a lemon, and a half pint of the water in which the onions were boiled. Bring to the boiling point, add two tablespoonfuls of cream, then add the eggs and onions. When thoroughly hot, dish them in a conical form, Garnish with triangular pieces of toast and serve. Eggs a la l'aurore. Hard boil six eggs. Cut them into halves lengthwise. Take out the yolks, keeping them whole. Cut the whites into fine strips. Make a cream sauce. Add to it two tablespoonfuls of finely chopped sardines or finely chopped lobster or crab. A tablespoonful of tarragon vinegar. Add the whites of the eggs and when quite hot, add the yolks without breaking them turn this at once into a heated dish garnish the dish with triangular pieces of toast and send to the table or if you like make the sauce season it and put a layer into the bottom of the baking dish then a layer of parmesan cheese then a layer of the yolks pressed through a sieve and so on alternating having the last layer of the yolks of the eggs dust over a few bread crumbs put here and there bits of butter and brown quickly in the oven. 
eggs a la dauphin remove the shells from six hard-boiled eggs cut them into halves lengthwise take out the yolks press them through a sieve add four level tablespoonfuls of melted butter and half a teaspoonful of salt a grating of nutmeg and two tablespoonfuls of parmesan cheese add half a cupful of cream to a half cupful of sifted bread crumbs mix this with the yolks rub until smooth then add one well-beaten egg and the yolk of one egg cover the bottom of the baking dish with the mixture forming it into a pyramid and cover with the chopped whites have ready two extra hard-boiled eggs take out the yolks press them through a sieve all over the top garnish the edges of the dish with triangular pieces of toasted bread cover the whole with cream sauce brown in the oven and serve at once eggs a la bennett six hard-boiled eggs two tablespoonfuls of butter one teaspoonful of anchovy sauce one tablespoonful of finely chopped chives or onion one half cupful of bread crumbs one half teaspoonful of salt cut the eggs into halves lengthwise remove the yolks rub them with half the butter salt onion and anchovy paste fill these back into the whites cover the bottom of a baking dish with ordinary white sauce stand in the eggs put over the bread crumbs baste them with the remaining butter melted and stand in the oven long enough to brown eggs brulee beat four eggs add to them four tablespoonfuls of stock four tablespoonfuls of cream a saltspoonful of salt and half a saltspoonful of pepper turn them into a saucepan stand in a pan of hot water stir with an egg beater until they are thick and jelly-like turn at once into a heated dish garnish with toast and send to the table scalloped eggs four hard-boiled eggs two tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of milk one cupful of finely chopped cold cooked chicken or fish one teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper chop the eggs rather fine rub the butter and flour together add the milk stir until boiling add the salt and pepper put a layer of eggs in the bottom of a casserole or baking dish then a layer of the fish or chicken then a little white sauce and so continue until the ingredients are used dust the top thickly with bread crumbs and bake in a moderate oven until nicely browned egg farci six hard-boiled eggs two cupfuls of mashed potatoes one cupful of finely chopped cold cooked meat one tablespoonful of chopped parsley one tablespoonful of butter one tablespoonful of flour one gill a half cupful of milk one level teaspoonful of salt one teaspoonful of onion juice one saltspoonful of pepper hard boil the eggs chop them fine mix them with the meat add the salt pepper and parsley rub the butter and flour together add the milk stir until boiling add this gradually to the potatoes when smooth add the hard-boiled eggs meat and parsley fill into small custard cups or into shearing dishes brush with milk and brown in the oven these make a nice supper or luncheon dish egg balls these are used for soup and for garnishing of vegetable dishes hard boil four eggs throw them at once into cold water remove the shells put the yolks through a sieve then add a half teaspoonful of salt a dash of white pepper and the yolk of one raw egg or you may take a part of the white of one egg mix thoroughly and make into balls the size of a marble using enough flour to prevent sticking to the hands drop these into a kettle of boiling stock or into hot fat drain on brown paper deviled egg salad six eggs one head of lettuce one pimento one teaspoonful of onion juice one half teaspoonful of paprika one half cupful of chopped boiled tongue one saltspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper hard boil the eggs throw them into cold water remove the shells cut them lengthwise take out the yolks without breaking the whites rub the yolks through a sieve into a bowl then add the tongue and all the seasoning if the mixture is dry add a tablespoonful or two of cream or olive oil roll the mixture into balls that will fit the spaces from which they were taken in the whites making each ball round arrange the lettuce over a platter stand the whites in the lettuce 
and at serving time baste thoroughly with french dressing japanese hard eggs one cupful of rice one half pint of white sauce six eggs one tablespoonful of chopped parsley if you have it and a suspicion of onion juice put the eggs into a saucepan of cold water bring to boiling point and simmer gently twenty minutes wash the rice through several cold waters sprinkle it into a kettle of boiling water and boil it for thirty minutes remove the shells break the eggs while they are hot cut them into halves crosswise make the cream sauce and add the onion juice when the rice is done drain sprinkle it in the center of a large platter press the halves of the eggs down into it and pour over the cream sauce garnish with the chopped parsley this takes the place of both meat and starchy vegetables for either luncheon or supper eggs en marinade one dozen eggs three very red beets one quart of cider vinegar twenty four whole cloves one teaspoonful of mustard seed one saltspoonful of celery seed one teaspoonful of salt two saltspoonfuls of pepper hard boil the eggs plunge them into cold water and remove the shells stick the cloves into the eggs pare the beets cut them into blocks and boil them in about a pint of water to this water add the vinegar bring it to boiling point add salt pepper and the celery and mustard seed put the eggs into a glass jar and pour over the boiling vinegar put on the tops and stand them aside for three weeks a tablespoonful of grated horseradish or a half cupful of nasturtium seeds will improve the flavor and prevent mold eggs a la polonaise six eggs two level tablespoonfuls of butter one tablespoonful of chopped parsley one teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper hard boil four of the eggs when done remove the shells cut the eggs into halves lengthwise and take out the yolks without breaking the whites press the yolks through a sieve into a bowl and add the raw yolks of the remaining two eggs with the parsley salt and pepper beat the white of the raw eggs until light not stiff then work them into the yolk mixture cover the bottom of a shallow baking pan with part of this mixture then fill the spaces in the whites with some of the remaining mixture put the whites of the eggs together making them look like whole eggs arrange these in the center of the dish if you have any of the yolk mixture left put it around in a sort of a border pour over a little melted butter dust thickly with soft bread crumbs and bake in a quick oven until slightly brown serve plain or with cream sauce eggs a la hide six eggs one half can of mushrooms one tablespoonful of grated onion two tablespoonfuls of chopped parsley one half cupful of sweet cream two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of chicken stock or coconut milk one teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper hard boil the eggs and when done remove the shells and cut the eggs in halves lengthwise keeping the whites whole remove the yolks press them through a sieve add to them the cream half the salt and a dash of cayenne mix thoroughly and fill into the whites and arrange them neatly on a granite or silver platter put the butter into a saucepan add the onion and flour then the stock or coconut milk and the mushrooms stir until it boils add the remaining salt and pepper take from the fire and add the parsley pour this over the eggs on the platter dust thickly with bread crumbs run into a quick oven until brown eggs a la vinaigrette six eggs one head of lettuce eight tablespoonfuls of olive oil one tablespoonful of chopped parsley four tablespoonfuls of vinegar one tablespoonful of chopped gherkin one tablespoonful of chopped olives one tablespoonful of grated onion hard boil the eggs throw them into cold water remove the shells and cut them into slices lengthwise wash and dry the lettuce arrange it on a small meat platter put over the top slices of hard boiled eggs letting one slice overlap the other fill the center of the dish with sliced peeled tomatoes put a half teaspoonful of salt in a soup plate add a saltspoonful of pepper and the oil put in a piece of ice and stir until the salt is dissolved remove the ice add all the other ingredients but the parsley mix thoroughly pour this over the eggs 
dust with parsley and serve as a supper dish eggs a la russe six eggs one small can of caviar two tablespoonfuls one half pint of stock one teaspoonful of onion juice one dash of pepper hard boil the eggs remove the shells cut them into halves lengthwise take out the yolks without breaking the whites and pass them through a sieve then add the caviar onion juice and pepper heap these back into the whites boil the stock until reduced one half baste the eggs carefully run them into the oven until hot pour over the remaining hot stock and send to the table eggs lyonnaise six eggs one onion two level tablespoonfuls of butter two level tablespoonfuls of flour one half pint of milk one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of pepper hard boil the eggs remove the shells throw them in cold water cut the onion into thin slices put it with the butter into a saucepan shake until the onion is tender then add the flour milk and seasoning stir until boiling at serving time cut the eggs into slices crosswise put them in a shallow baking dish cover with cream sauce and run in the oven just a moment until they are very hot egg croquettes six eggs one half pint of milk two level tablespoonfuls of butter three level tablespoonfuls of flour one teaspoonful of onion juice one tablespoonful of chopped parsley one half saltspoonful of grated nutmeg one teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper hard boil the eggs and chop them fine rub the butter and flour together add the milk stir until you have a thick smooth paste add all the seasoning to the egg mix the eggs into the white sauce and turn out to cool when cold form into cylinders dip in egg beaten with a tablespoonful of water roll in bread crumbs and fry in deep hot fat serve with cream sauce egg chops six hard-boiled eggs one half pint of finely chopped cooked ham one half pint of milk two level tablespoonfuls of butter four level tablespoonfuls of flour one tablespoonful of chopped parsley one teaspoonful of onion juice one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of cayenne one dash of white pepper chop the eggs very fine mix them with the ham add the parsley onion juice and pepper rub the butter and flour together and add the milk stir until you have a smooth thick sauce then add the salt mix this with the other ingredients and turn it out to cool when cold form into a chop about the size of an ordinary mutton chop dip first in egg beaten with a tablespoonful of water then cover carefully with bread crumbs and fry in deep hot fat serve with either tomato or brown sauce plain scrambled eggs put two tablespoonfuls of butter in a shallow frying pan add a tablespoonful of water to each egg six eggs are quite enough for four people add a half teaspoonful of salt and a saltspoonful of pepper give two or three beets enough to break the eggs turn them into the frying pan on the hot butter constantly scrape from the bottom of the pan with the fork while they are cooking serve with a garnish of broiled bacon and toast scrambled eggs with chipped beef pull apart a quarter of a pound of chipped beef cover with boiling water let it stand ten minutes drain and dry put it into a saucepan with two level tablespoonfuls of butter four eggs beaten until they are well mixed and a dash of pepper stir with a fork until the eggs are set eggs scrambled with lettuce remove the outside leaves from one head of lettuce wash dry and with a very sharp knife cut them into shreds chop sufficient onion to make a tablespoonful put a tablespoonful of butter into a saucepan add the onion shake until the onion is soft then add six eggs beaten without separating until well mixed but not light add a half teaspoonful of salt a half saltspoonful of pepper and the shredded lettuce stir with a fork until the eggs are set turn at once onto a heated platter garnish with triangular pieces of toast and send to the table scrambled eggs with shrimps six eggs one can of shrimps or its equivalent in fresh shrimps one green pepper one half pint of strained tomato one half teaspoonful of salt beat the eggs until well mixed without separating put the butter in a saucepan add the pepper chopped shake until the pepper is soft add the tomato and all the seasoning and the shrimps bring to boiling point push to the back of the stove where it will simmer 
while you scramble the eggs put the scrambled eggs on toast in the center of a platter pour over and around the shrimp mixture and send to the table eggs scrambled with fresh tomatoes three tomatoes four eggs one teaspoonful of onion juice one level teaspoonful of salt one saltspoonful of pepper two tablespoonfuls of butter peel the tomatoes cut them into halves and squeeze out the seeds cut the tomatoes into small bits put them into a saucepan with the salt pepper and butter when these are hot add the eggs beaten until well mixed stir until the eggs are set turn into a heated dish garnish with toast and send to the table eggs scrambled with rice and tomato this is an exceedingly nice dish for supper where one does not care for meat four or six eggs can be used to each half pint of cold boiled rice and either three fresh tomatoes chopped or two-thirds of a cupful of solid strained tomato put a tablespoonful of butter a half teaspoonful of salt a saltspoonful of pepper and the tomatoes into a saucepan when hot add the rice and when the rice is hot add the eggs beaten without being very light as soon as the eggs are set serve this in a vegetable dish covered with squares of toasted bread this recipe is also nice with hard-boiled eggs proceed as directed and at last add the hard-boiled eggs sliced scrambled eggs with asparagus tips one small can of asparagus tips six eggs one tablespoonful of butter one half teaspoonful of salt one dash of pepper beat the eggs add the salt pepper and butter put them into a saucepan add at once the asparagus tips and stir with a fork until the mixture is set egg flip this dish is exceedingly nice for a child or an invalid separate one egg beat the white to a stiff froth add the yolk and beat again heap this in a pretty saucer dust lightly with powdered sugar put in the center a teaspoonful of brandy and serve at once sherry or madeira may be substituted for the brandy end of section four Section 5 of Many Ways for Cooking Eggs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Many Ways for Cooking Eggs by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohrer. Omelettes. A plain French omelette is perhaps one of the most difficult of all things to make. That is, it is the most difficult to have well made in the ordinary private house. Failures come from beating the eggs until they are too light, or having the butter too hot, or cooking the omelette too long before serving. In large families where it is necessary to use a dozen eggs, two omelettes will be better than one. A six-egg omelette is quite easily handled. Do not use milk. It toughens the eggs and gives an unpleasant flavor to the omelette. An omelette pan, a shallow frying pan, should be kept especially for omelettes. Each time it is used, rub until dry but do not wash. Dust it with salt and rub it with brown paper until perfectly clean. To make an omelette, first put a tablespoonful of butter in the middle of the pan. Let it heat slowly. Break the eggs in a bowl, add a tablespoonful of water to each egg and give 12 good vigorous beats. To each six eggs allow a salt spoonful of pepper and if you like a tablespoonful of finely chopped parsley. Take the eggs, a limber knife and the salt to the stove. Draw the pan over the hottest part of the fire, turn in the eggs and dust over half teaspoonful of salt. Shake the pan so that the omelette moves and folds itself over each time you draw the pan towards you. Lift the edge of the omelette, allowing the thin, uncooked portion of the egg to run underneath. Shake again until the omelette is set. Have ready heated a platter, fold over the omelette and turn it out. Garnish with parsley and send to the table. If one can make a plain French omelette, it may be converted into many, many kinds. Omelette with asparagus tips Make a plain omelette from six eggs. Have ready a half pint of cream sauce and either a can or a bundle of cooked asparagus. Cut off the tips, preserving the lower portions for another dish. When the omelette is turned into the heated platter, put the asparagus tips at the ends, cover them with cream sauce, pour the rest of the cream sauce in the platter, not over the omelette. Omelette with green peas. 
make a six egg omelet have ready one pint of cooked peas or a can of peas seasoned with salt pepper and butter just before folding the omelet put a tablespoonful of peas in the center fold and turn out on a heated platter pour the remaining quantity of peas around the omelet and send it once to the table if you like you may pour over also a half pint of cream sauce havana omelet put two tablespoons of butter and two chopped onions over hot water until the onion is soft and thoroughly cooked peel four tomatoes cut them into halves and press out the seeds then cut each half into quarters add four spanish peppers cut in strips a level teaspoonful of salt and a dash of red pepper cook until the tomato is soft make a six egg omelet turn it into a heated platter put the tomato mixture at the ends and send it once to the table omelet with tomato sauce make a plain omelet with six eggs pour over a half pint of tomato sauce and send to the table omelet with oysters drain wash and drain again 25 oysters throw them into a hot saucepan and shake until the gills curl rub together two level tablespoonfuls of flour and two of butter drain the oysters put the liquor into a half a pint cup add sufficient milk to fill the cup add this to the butter and flour when boiling add the oysters a level teaspoonful of salt and a dash of red pepper make a six egg omelet turn it on to a heated dish arrange the oysters around the omelet pour over the cream sauce and send to the table omelet with sweetbreads this is a very good way to make sweetbreads do double duty boil a pair of sweetbreads until they are tender remove the membrane cut them into slices make a cream sauce add the sweetbreads and if you like a half can of chopped mushrooms make a six egg omelet arrange the slices of sweetbread around the omelet and pour over the cream sauce omelet with tomatoes beat six eggs add a half pint of rather thick stewed tomatoes a level teaspoonful of salt and a salt spoonful of pepper beat the eggs and tomatoes together and make precisely the same as a plain omelet do not however add water as the tomatoes answer the purpose omelet with ham mix a half cup of chopped ham with eggs after they have been beaten with the water and finish the same as a plain omelet omelet with cheese beat six eggs until they are thoroughly mixed add a half cupful of thick cream four tablespoonfuls of grated cheese a salt spoonful of black pepper and a half teaspoonful of salt mix and finish the same as plain omelet omelet with fine herbs beat six eggs until thoroughly mixed add a half cupful of cream a tablespoonful of finely chopped parsley a salt spoonful of pepper and a half teaspoonful of salt finish the same as a plain omelet serve on a heated platter and put over a little thin spanish sauce spanish omelet beat six eggs add six tablespoonfuls of water add a salt spoonful of pepper a tablespoonful of finely chopped parsley a teaspoonful of onion juice put six thin slices of bacon in the omelet pan cook slowly until all the fat is dried out remove the bacon add a tablespoonful of chopped onion cook until the onion is slightly brown turn in the eggs and finish the same as a plain omelet turn on to a heated platter garnish with red and green peppers and if you like put two tablespoonfuls of stewed tomatoes at each end of the omelet omelet hardinier chop sufficient chives to make a tablespoonful add a tablespoonful of parsley a tablespoonful of finely chopped onion and if you have it a little of the green tops of celery mix this with six eggs add six tablespoonfuls of water and beat make the same as a plain omelet omelet with fresh mushrooms this is one of the most delicious of all the luncheon dishes put two tablespoonfuls of butter a pound of mushrooms sliced a half cup of milk and a teaspoonful of salt into a saucepan cover and cook slowly for 20 minutes make two six egg omelets turn them side by side on a large heated platter pour over the fresh mushrooms and serve at once omelet o'brien put two tablespoonfuls of butter in a saucepan with four tablespoonfuls of chopped onion cook until the onion is tender then add four chopped spanish peppers two tablespoonfuls of thick tomato or one whole raw tomato cut into bits four sliced cooked okra a teaspoonful of salt a dash of pepper 
Let these cook 20 minutes. Make a six egg plain omelet using bacon fat instead of butter for the cooking. Remove the slices of bacon before they are too hard, as they must be used for garnish. Turn the omelet onto a heated platter. Pour around it the pepper mixture, garnish with the bacon and send to the table. Canned mushrooms may be added if desired. Omelet with potatoes. Four eggs. One cupful of mashed potatoes. Two level tablespoonfuls of butter. One tablespoonful of chopped parsley. One level teaspoonful of salt. One salt spoonful of pepper. Beat the eggs without separating until thoroughly mixed. Add them gradually to the mashed potato, beating all the while. Add the salt and pepper. Put the butter into a good sized saute or omelet pan. When hot, turn the ingredients into the pan and smooth it down with a palette knife. Let this cook slowly until nicely browned. Fold it over as you would a plain omelet and turn onto a heated dish. The parsley may be sprinkled over the top or added to the mixture. End of section 5. Section 6 of Many Ways for Cooking Eggs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. Many Ways for Cooking Eggs by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohr. Sweet Omelets. Omelets a la Washington. Put three eggs into a bowl and three into another bowl. Add three tablespoonfuls of water to each and beat. Have two omelet pans in which you have melted butter. Grate an apple into one bowl and into the other put a little salt and pepper. Stand two tablespoonfuls of jelly in a dish over hot water while you cook the omelets. Proceed as for plain omelet. The one to which you have added the apple turn out on a plate. Before folding the other, put in the center the softened currant jelly. Then fold it and turn it out by the side of the other omelet. Dust both with powdered sugar and send at once to the table. Serve a portion of each. Omelet with rum. Make a plain omelet with six eggs. Turn it on a heated platter. Dust it with powdered sugar and score it across the top with a red-hot poker. Dip four lumps of sugar into Jamaican rum and put them on the platter. Put over the omelet four tablespoonfuls of rum. Touch a lighted match to the rum and carry the omelet to the table burning. Baste it with the burning rum until the alcohol is entirely burned off. Swiss souffle. Allow one egg to each person. Have everything in readiness. The maraschino cherries must be drained free from the liquor. Separate the eggs. Beat the whites until they are stiff. Add a level tablespoonful of powdered sugar to each white and beat until dry and glossy. Add the yolks of three eggs. Mix quickly. Add the grated rind of one lemon and a tablespoonful of lemon juice. Heap this into individual dishes. Make a tiny little hole in the center and put in a maraschino cherry, leaving the hole large enough to hold a tablespoonful of the liquor when the omelet is ready to serve. Dust it with powdered sugar. Bake in a quick oven about three minutes. Take it from the oven. Pour in the maraschino juice and send at once to the table. These will fall if baked too much, but when well made and served quickly is one of the daintiest of desserts. Omelette a la Duchesse. This is a sweet baked omelette and is served the same as one would serve an omelette souffle. Six eggs, one half cupful of water, one half a lemon's yellow rind grated, one half cupful of thick cream, one half cupful of granulated sugar, one teaspoonful of vanilla or orange flower water, one small bit of cinnamon. Put the sugar, water, cinnamon, and lemon rind over the fire. Boil it until it spins a thread and stand aside to cool. Separate the eggs, beat the yolks until creamy, and add the cream, then the strained syrup. Add the vanilla, and when cool, fold in the well-beaten whites. Turn it once into a shallow silver or granite dish, dust thickly with powdered sugar, and bake in a quick oven until brown. Omelette souffle. This is, perhaps, one of the most difficult of all dishes to make. When, however, you have accomplished the art, you have one of the most satisfactory desserts. Like the preceding recipe, it must be made at the last moment and sent from the oven directly to the table. 
the eggs must be beaten to just the right point and the oven must be very hot get everything in readiness before beginning to make the souffle select a bowl perfectly clean and arrange the star tube and pastry bag if you are going to use one if not get out a baking dish sift six tablespoonfuls of powdered sugar separate six eggs put three of the yolks aside as you will only use three and beat the other three until creamy beat the whites until they are very stiff but not dry or broken now add three tablespoonfuls of the sifted powdered sugar beat for fully ten minutes then add the beaten yolks the grated rind of a lemon and at the last a tablespoonful of lemon juice mix carefully and quickly but thoroughly put four or five tablespoonfuls of this in the bottom of a platter or baking dish put the remaining quantity quickly in the pastry bag and press it out into roses it is easier to make it in small rosettes all over the foundation dust quickly with the remaining three tablespoonfuls of sugar bake in a quick oven until golden brown this will take about five minutes serve immediately to be just right this must be hot to the very center crisp on top moist underneath if baked too long the moment the top is touched it will fall becoming stringy and unpalatable omelet souffles are frequently flavored with rum which must be mixed with the sugar sometimes they are sprayed with sherry just as they are taken from the oven they may be built up into different forms and garnished with candied or maraschino cherries or chopped nuts end of section six end of many ways for cooking eggs by sarah tyson heston rohrer